aqua gang gang what it do with your girl empress 777 here today with a general love message for my aqua sun moon rising and venus signs okay it is general holy angels and spirit guys give me clear concise messages for aquarius gang gang give us exactly what we need to know you guys <laughs> You're never gonna believe. You are never going to believe. You like I believe it, girl. I believe it already. You ain't never lie. I believe it already. <laughs> I'm just saying. The energy that came out in that meditation. Lord, <laughs> what are we gonna do with all these people who are brainless? I mean, they rely on our brains. I don't understand. I don't get it. I do not get it. I do not get it. These are the people y'all chose too. <laughs> I'm disgusted. I'm sorry. I'm sorry by their behavior. So. I was very much so getting the energy of somebody who this is a player okay guys i don't know if you knew you you might have known most of you do know this this is somebody who is used to getting their way with the opposite sex they have something it uh entices people okay it hypnotizes people and people just start to do what they want they bend at their will they wait by the phone they <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They wait their turn. Uh, it's definitely a player. And this is the type of person who would get people and they would like skip them across the lake like rocks. You know, like, mm, okay, I played with you for a while. Skip, skip, skip. <laughs> you know, skip to the next. Skip to the loo. Skip, 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 motherfucker. Skip. Okay. This is also a person who was tired of dealing with people who added no value to their life. So they quite literally manifested you. You were a gift. You were not a pebble. You were not a cobblestone. You, will, you were not a rock <laughs> to be skipped. Okay? You were a precious rare jewel to be handled with delicate care. And tell me what they did. Uh, tell me, please, tell me what they did. Tell me what they did. Tell me what they did. <laughs> you like, girl, if you don't calm your little hyper ass down. Okay, I'm just saying, tell me what they did. Because this shit, <sighs> like what, dummy? What did you do? You skipped them too? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> woo, 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 woo. <sighs> they are sick, you guys. Okay. And they are so sick of love songs. <laughs> this is somebody who is in the darkness. They are sad. I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm going to tell you that they are sad. They may have had a conversation with someone, someone who they look up to, someone who they admire, someone who they actually listen to, because we are definitely dealing with someone who thought that they had it all together. They had it all figured out. They knew 10 steps ahead what was going to happen until you walked away. OK, you kind of flipped that shit and reversed it. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> See, it's not a lie, you guys. It's not a lie. The Grim Reaper, okay? Now, I don't know about you, but this ain't no second chances, goddamn. Grow and transform your life. You may quite literally be the catalyst for this person to get this done finally, um, to stop handling people like objects and look at individuals as spiritual beings, okay? you like, this person is not spiritual empress. What the hell is you talking about, girl? That is never going to happen. I'm just saying, they're ha they're, they are conversing with someone who is dropping jewels on them, okay? I get the idea that this person skipped you like they were going to be able to come back to that same fishbowl, okay? They didn't quite skip you in a lake or in an ocean. There's a hierarchy here, okay? <laughs> Everybody doesn't get the same skip. Okay, motherfuckers who can't do nothing for them, they get skipped in the goddamn Pacific Ocean. Never to be seen again, right? But those who add a, a bit of value, who they actually like being around, who they can get something out of, right? Who they see mm, mm, a little value in. The nerve, okay? The nerve of this motherfucker. Who is this? I'm getting mad. Yeah, if they see a little value in you, then they'll, they'll just kind of skip you across the goldfish bowl or some shit, okay? A home aquarium, just to kind of... Keep you posted, keep you caged, keep you in captured, enraptured until they're ready to come out and fry your ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my God. I cannot do this. They was planning on coming back, y'all. You like, they made a mistake and skipped you through the ocean until somebody started dropping jewels on them. They thought they skipped you in the fishbowl. They didn't mean to skip your ass this way. They wanted to come back. Okay, 
add a little bit of obey, add a little bit of uh, 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 onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder, you know what I'm saying? Canola oil, trying to be healthy. <laughs> oh and fry your ass up. You was like, I'm out this bitch. Skip me right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cupid's arrow, see? So for some of you, you do need to know that you're not tripping. Okay, that's what I just heard. Spirit said, nah, you're not tripping. Cause some people be talking all, like spirit talks to you the way that you talk. I, I often feel like my soul family can resonate and connect with the way that I talk to you. It's just the way that you need to hear it. Is it a lie? Please put down in the comments. If I'm hitting that shit on the head, please put a hammer down there. I'm hitting that nail right on the head, put a bullseye. It's not a lie, you have to hear it this way for it to resonate, for it to ring a bell, for it to be like, aha, aha, aha. You preaching, girl. So, I feel as though spirit is really coming through, screaming at me. Like, you are not tripping. There was something here. There was something here to explore. Okay? You were not an idiot for giving this person a chance. You were not an idiot for giving them your number or your name, goddamn. <laughs> okay or a chance because they were not supposed to do this this is not the way spirit intended for this to go this is a non-listening motherfucker they don't listen and they didn't listen to spirit it says love is coming it says surprise invitation or meeting and it also says hesitation so we are dealing with someone who was so stuck in their ways so 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 attached to these habits right old habits die hard that it just became like muscle memory goddamn skipping motherfuckers just skip 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 to the loo bitch like just i mean it's insane by the time they got to you who they actually manifested you were a gift from the divine you're like i'm here bitch why are you acting dumb why are you acting stupid like why are you acting like you brainless i know that the universe wouldn't put me with somebody who don't have no brain i know they won't do that and they didn't <laughs> not purposefully feel like the two of you were brought together because this person definitely manifested you. They wanted something deeper. They wanted something of substance, but you came too fast. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you got there too quickly. Okay. They thought that they would have time to clean some shit up, clean their life up, clean their, you know, ways up, get it all out their system. And then you were supposed to come. So in their mind, they're probably like, you fucked it up. You made me skip your ass in the ocean. I just wanted you to be in the home aquarium waiting for me. Oh, man. So we have the Grim Reaper. This person is definitely going to be forced to grow and transform. Whoever they are conversing with is definitely not holding back. Not worried about their feelings at all. Telling them that they're stupid as fuck <laughs> for letting this get, for letting you get away. Like you're dumb, like you just dumb, like you stupid. How are we even friends? Aren't you, you are who you hang with. So I don't even know if I should hang with you no more, dummy. Oh my God. <laughs> See, power over difficulty, reclaiming your power. Hello. This person definitely thought they was in control here. I'm gonna just say that. They did. This person thought they were in complete and total control. What you said? Y'all made them think that? Why did y'all make them think that? <laughs> Why did you do that? You like to, I wanted to give them as much rope to see how much of that rope they was going to use to hang themselves. Oh my God. <sighs> you definitely reclaimed your power. Um, this person feels powerless indefinitely, okay? Um, they didn't mean to skip you. They just meant to shelve you, and you just kind of made them do it. They felt powerlessness in that moment, right? Like they just had to prove a point. So here's the thing. It just depends on how this separation went about. Um, they didn't mean for it to go this far. You know what I'm saying? 
and they definitely didn't realize the value at which you hold until they had a conversation with someone who pointed it out to them. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> They're still asleep, y'all. They are blinded. They are blindfolded. I'm just saying. We have, see? <laughs> it's not a lie. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You gonna drown in them feelings, motherfucker. You gonna drown. They thought they was having a fish fry tonight, baby. They really thought they was coming back to something. So for me to say that, they may have thought that um, this person didn't realize that the disconnect or how far they took things was the ultimate demise of this relationship. They didn't realize that it was like game over. You know what I'm saying? They just thought it was time out. You know, halftime. Shit. <laughs> Hmm. Get in line, bitch. Get in line. Get in line. Next. Like, just take a number already. I hope you brought some snacks, motherfucker, because you're going to be here all lifetime. <laughs> Trying to get me to care. Well. They definitely have tried to let go. And I think that at the point of not being able to release, um, whatever emotions are still attached which is a lot <laughs> they got cups and cups and they got a whole stockpile full of cups of your love goddamn and they have been trying to let that shit go with you know they put it on sale they like who want a free cup like please two for 20. <sighs> so they definitely try to to release this and have been unsuccessful okay mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay so i feel like this is why they are possibly showing up i feel at the point that they were not able to get enough of those cups sold enough of those cups out of their life out of their memory out of their thoughts out of their world out of their energy their dreams bitch you everywhere <laughs> they can't get away from you <laughs> they're like baby please <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. I don't like being in this space anymore. Like, come back to me. Not Janet. <laughs> they going all Janet on you. Yeah, I can't take this. I can't. That's the point that they realized that you were you were their manifestation in human form. OK. Um, I feel as though they had a few inklings, a few aha moments during the connection as the feelings and the emotions started to grow, as the connection started to get a little bit more intense. It's like they had an inkling that you might have been the one, their person, right? The, the universe's gift. They had an idea, you know? I mean, you were clear, okay? There was no cloudiness in this diamond, Goddamn, okay? That shit, that rolly was not ticking, motherfucker. Like, this might be real. And that would bring about the hesitation. This is why the inconsistent energy, this is why the hot and cold, this is why the confusion in your own thoughts, like, am I tripping? Did I really just go towards a fuckboy? Oh my God, did I really just deal with this fuck girl? Like, did I really just play myself like that? No, you didn't. That's validation from spirit. Like they were supposed to act right. I'm just saying they were. They messed this up. They're being taught a lesson, guys. A hard, hard lesson. Okay. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I told you. I told you. I told you. And I don't know why they would have thought that. They didn't realize that you were not going to stick around to see how many times they would skip your ass. I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Like, who does that? There's way too much value in who you are. Okay? The amount of people that would do right, who want to do right by you, is endless. So why would I, why would I waste my time on this? Yeah, the second they try to put you on pause, you skip your damn self across the ocean, bitch. You ain't never gonna find me again. 
<laughs> they like, let me go get some fishing poles, a fishing rod, some bait, goddamn, some sperries. I want to get cute for my boo. I just want to, <laughs> please. Hoping you'll bite. They hope you'll bite. You like, girl, shut up. <laughs> I'm just saying. This is, this is sad. This is very sad, guys. I feel like they felt like they would have more time to just be who they are. That's who they are. Let's just be very clear. It's a difference between, you know, a person's character and just some ways about them that they have adapted to. I feel like this is within and embedded in this person's character to just be the way that they have been, okay? They showed you no different energy, okay? They showed you no different side of themselves. They gave you exactly what they gave everybody else and that's where they fucked up. That's where you fucked up, ma'am, sir, bruh, sis, okay? Sit your little stupid ass here. That's where you fucked up, you know that, right? <laughs> Because how you asking for some different shit, then when you get some different shit, you treat that shit like the same old shit. I, I just don't get it. I don't understand. I'm confused. I'm confused. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm going to tell you why. Because they really thought that they were in control, y'all. They've been getting away with this shit for a long time. So it's like, mm -hmm, okay. All of the other ones act like fucking pebbles and cobblestones. Yeah, you act like a, a ruby, <laughs> a diamond, okay, an emerald, but because I'm in control of this shit, because I'm driving the, sh I'm driving the boat, <sighs> you're going to be a rock today. <laughs> you like psych. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm, 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 mm. I'm proud of you though. That spirit. They're proud of you. They are proud of you. Um, I feel like possibly other connections besides this person. Um, if they would have caught you at any other time, you're an empath, right? So you naturally take on other people's um, emotions and you handle people with, with care. You know what I'm saying? Um, with regard, which human beings should do. Like there's nothing wrong with that. But in this, in this instance, you definitely put yourself first and spirit is like, yes, <laughs> I'll ride with you forever for this. This is what they needed to see. So this just could have been, I feel like you were definitely this person's wish fulfillment spirit knows all things right divine timing means it had to happen um they this person had to get exactly what they were asking for which fulfillment and had to have it slip right through their fingers um in order for them to see the error of their ways see how they're literally messing up their their life they're they're messing up their life as well as other people's lives okay um and you will be rewarded for that i'm just saying i'm just saying <laughs> new love forgive me but i found a new love who makes me feel alive and i feel as though this will be you this is definitely screaming your energy you have someone who is stuck to you like glue motherfucker. stuck they searching at the bottom of the ocean for you, you like drown already <laughs> just drown oh my god <laughs> you want new love you want new energy you want um an actual connection, something that will grow, okay? Um, I feel as though you've done a lot of healing work as well, and this is going to give you the ability to use your intuition to vet people. Now, that's a power that not everybody got, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, because when you start using your intuition to vet motherfuckers, then nobody gets beyond the line. I mean, they don't even get a high from you. If you don't feel, okay? It's like energy check at hello. <laughs> Well, I definitely feel like you are partnered up with the universe that you have them in your back pocket. They like we riding with you ish. OK, we riding with you. OK, we're going to run this town tonight. Oh, boy. <laughs> wow. 
So I'm also viewing this divine timing card right under this let's compromise card as you really have grown within your spirituality. I I'm just going to say that guys, the, the divine is really screaming like we are so like they're having a parade and shit. It's a party. It's a party. It's a party. It's a party. you like, it's not that deep. It is. It is though, because I feel as though you have bogarted your way out of this cycle when it definitely could have been in another direction you know what i'm saying this is somebody who is trying to keep you on this wheel um this let's compromise here card is you say i can't really compromise my feelings i can't really bend to anything that doesn't speak to my heart anything that does not serve me well or serves me at all this this is a relationship that did not serve you for a good purpose okay so being able to walk away from this um in the amount of time that you did so that's going to be different for all of you um they are really putting emphasis on the amount of time that you stayed with this person um and giving a hand clap like you really just dropped that shit <laughs> Ooh, and that was no easy task okay that was no easy feat do you understand that took a lot of courage so um and willpower so let's go ahead and use i'm going to use the beauty tarot deck let's dig in a little bit here and then we're going to go over to the extended definitely are reclaiming your power showing this person that you was driving this ship all along motherfucker all along oh you thought oh you thought Mm -mm -mm. Now go sit in the corner and think about what you did. <laughs> that's what they feel like. Okay, for me to say that, that sounds like time out, right? But this is not a time out. What is wrong with this person? <laughs> they are delusional. They can't believe that they let this get away. I'm just going to say that. Yeah, for sure. Um, they were just so used to, you know skipping motherfuckers they were so used to it it was just habitual it came natural and they just did that a little too quickly um ultimately losing you and they cannot believe it right so they're convincing themselves that this is halftime <laughs> oh my god they have a chance to come back from this okay they can still win this game you're like it's not a game bitch <laughs> wow it is not a game this is not a test and this ain't no game and if it is a game, I invented that shit and you lost. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. That makes absolute sense. That makes so much sense. Wow. This is definitely the end of a harder cycle for you. Um, you are going into a time of karmic relief. OK, um, opportunities, movement. Do you understand your energy? You're going to start feeling that that shit is moving out of this cycle with the quickness. Um, I feel as though you're going to be given some sort of beauty for your ashes indefinitely. But this is also a time of good luck. OK, there's destiny in this card as well, right next to divine timing. So this all had to happen. Ooh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Wow. Yeah, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So some of you may be running into a onslaught of money. Do you understand? Um, like bathing in that shit. Just bathing in money, right? Rich, 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 rich. Very rich energy. Um, this also signifies um an empire building a business um entrepreneurship for some of you or getting a raise getting a promotion um focused on multiple streams of income you may be fully focused on your money at this time um this is why that new love card would have popped out because spirit is like don't forget that we got you like we still got you okay we got you um i love the aura coming from your energy in particular okay i feel as though even though you will no longer be connected with this energy of the past it's coming into this reading just as a forewarning that it might try to sidetrack you you know what i'm saying side swipe you this seemed like this seemed like a petty motherfucker i'm just saying <laughs> anything to get your attention on them okay like i said an attention seeker um anything to just get your attention <laughs> wow and attention whore so they may try to use those antics 
to get your eye off of focus for a moment. They may also feel as though if they're able to get your focus, just a piece of your focus for a second, they're in there. They're in there. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. I do feel like this is going to come as a surprise if this person invites you out. Um, they're going to want to see you in person. I'm just hearing that. <laughs> This is not a phone call conversation. This is someone who feels like they'll be able to get to you more emotionally face to face. So you are going to be met with a decision. We have judgment in the reverse, right? So they are hoping that you just kind of throw your logic out the door. Fuck logic. That's preposterous. That, that is ridiculous. You're thinking logically now? Who are you? <laughs> oh my God. Why? Why are we doing this? Why? Um, this judgment card in the reverse is also screaming at me that this is someone who is missing the whole point here. The divine timing, just roll with me, is saying to me right now that this is not supposed to be. They have some they have something else for you for you. And this individual is supposed to be using this time to evaluate themselves. To evaluate who they are as a person. Okay? To become more spiritually awoken. And inclined. Um, but they're not doing that. <laughs> they're not doing it. They're trying to hop on the wheel with you. Like, take me with you to the top. To the penthouse, bitch. Wow. Alright, let's pull one more and then we're going over to the extended. So where do they believe things stand between the two of you? What is their idea? Oh, yeah. We have, we, <laughs> hello. <sighs> you guys, didn't I say old habits die hard? This person's habits has not only sabotaged the connection between the two of you, but it definitely has them wearing blinders. They are wearing, I mean, the thickest fucking sunglasses I ever seen in my life. They are blind and they trying to drive and shit. <laughs> Okay, they feel like that they feel as though there's still a chance for progression here. That's what the chariot is a victory progression. Okay, it also says control. I mean, like, oh. ma'am, sir, bro, sis, like, can you just get a brain first? Get one first and then and then revisit this because I promise you, I promise you, your perspective is going to change, especially when you fall flat on your face. <laughs> Some of you, I just heard intuitively, may encounter this person again because this does feel like someone from the past, of course. Um, when you're already in a new relationship, when you're already connected to someone else, some of you may already be married, you may already um, be in a relationship, a serious connection, going towards union, um, have met someone who makes this other person look exactly like they are, which is shit. You know what I'm saying? Makes them look like, oh my God, how could I have ever? Um, and that, that, that is going to be something else. That's going to be a show. I, I'm going to need some popcorn for that show. I'm just going to say that, okay? I'm going to need a drink and I'm going to need uh, a straight drink. No chaser, no ice, nothing. Just give it to me. Um, straight up. <laughs> this person is going to be losing their shit. I'm just telling you. All right, let's go on over to the extended, okay? I do want to see what is this person's hopes for the future of this connection. Let's see what the lesson was in this for the both of you. We'll also see what this person's purest feelings for you are. Um, this will give us an idea of any, if anything has changed since the disconnect. Um, for those of you who will still look at this, you know, I mean, I don't judge. I don't judge, but we will look at that, okay? We'll also see what their next steps are going to be, their intentions, and the potential outcome if you decide to engage or not. We will also take a look and see what is the divine trying to communicate by placing this in your life's experience at all okay why did this have to show up in your life why is this showing up right now okay we will also take a look and see what shadows may be stagnating you on your journey beyond this and we'll also take a look to see what subconscious blockages may be leaving you vulnerable to toxicity infiltrating your energy um let's see what great things are coming in only the good things in the near future and then we will get your focus advice from the divine to help you reach true fulfillment and happiness in all areas of life instantaneously 
We'll take a moment and let you ask the universe a couple questions, but I'll have directions for this over in the reading. So it will be an ask the universe read. Um, so come on over with me to the extended. We are going to cut up, you guys. All right. Click that like button. I don't know if I said that in the beginning, but please do it. You know what I'm saying? Take a moment. It's free 99. Just click the like button. Click the subscribe button for those of you who are not a part of our family. And come on over with me to the extended. It's going to be linked down below in the description box, and I will see you guys over there. All right.